Well, hello there. Can I sell you anything? Perhaps justice? Yeah, because he's, he's at a store, you see. So it's kind of hard to make out from the <laughs> from the front of it there. It's your good friend, Planty Mush. Now, we are on the precipice of greatness here, uh, having done a, a garbage, stinky poo-poo quest yesterday that made absolutely no sense. People were quick to point out that I've criticized other quests, but not that one. I thought that quest was intended to be um, tongue-in-cheek and, and, and big comedy, which is why I didn't go in too hard on it. It was a boy trapped in a fridge for 200 years. Obviously, it was intended to be... Very silly. Can you hear that? Oh, it was the jukebox. Hello. Ah, oh, that's so peaceful. Anyone else feel like an omelette? Ah, oh, that's nice. So, uh, yeah, you might have realized it, but I've spruced up the settlement a little bit more. Built some stores. Um, don't know who is working at what store. Apparently, uh, the chems dealer is Ada, and the gun merchant is this random settler here. This is nice. I'm glad they're actually coming over here and using this stuff, though. This, this makes you feel a bit more alive. I put down a bunch more turrets, because uh, it was claiming we didn't have enough turrets and, uh, and any more beds. So I've really, really ramped the place up, um, I think, to quite a nice degree. We've got a couple of new buildings over here for uh, for living quarters that are all kind of nice. This one's more of the Minutemen. Uh, you see, it's a bit more militarized in its, uh, in its design around here. Secret weight bench that apparently they're all enjoying as well. I would have built more, but I'll be honest, I couldn't find what tab it was in after I built the first one. So things are going well. Things are going really well. Oh, I planted a bunch more uh, mute fruit as well. I don't know if you can quite make that out. Um, but all the way from there, all the way up around to that corner is uh, is fruit and vegetal. So it's it's looking quite nice here now. Have you got a? Where'd you get that? How odd. So, uh, the reason I say we're on the precipice of greatness, of course, is we did that massive wasteland adventure yesterday where we went to the radiation fields and blah, 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 blah. It was a horrible time. Um, I finally spent all of our perks on, um, most importantly, of course, uh, gun nut level four. I can't remember the other stuff I spent it on. Oh, nuclear physics level three. Just went all in on that uh, for the simple reason that that's going to be quite big and a lot of crafting we have to do. Uh, and the final thing, of course, we need to take our crafting to the final ultimate level is science level four. For science level four, we need to be level 41. And if you cast your eyes to the bottom left there, you'll see that we are level 40 and a bit. Kind of level 40.1. Uh, so if today we could maybe crack out a couple of quests. If we hit the ground running, do a couple of quests and hit it hard. Hit level 41, and then we can craft anything, or we can make any weapon attachment. We can do whatever we like with our guns, which is really important. A lot of people explained as well that the map isn't, um... The map isn't, like, scaled leveling like it works in Skyrim. You know, if you go back to the first dungeon in Skyrim, you get Dragor Overlord spawning in. Uh, in this, it's quite literally just the, the further south you go, as a general rule of thumb, the harder it gets, right? Some areas are tougher than others, like the middle of Boston isn't necessarily as hard as, like, this stuff over here, for example. Um, yeah, I didn't know it worked like that. I personally am not a big fan of that 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 system. Um, I actually don't mind fighting enemies, you know, in the starting area that have, have scaled to you, as long as they don't just give them more health, because that's obviously incredibly boring. I love the way Fallout 3 um, did that approach where... The super mutants would like you get your basic super mutants, then you get super mutant masters, super mutant overlords, obviously behemoth spawning more frequently. I th actually, I think Fallout 3 had like a set amount of behemoths. Um, so ignore that last bit. But the, the rest of it was really cool. Obviously, they perfected it with broken steel. It was kind of shitty before that. Anyway, let's get going today. No more rants, no more conversations here. We have four things written down Covenant, Mystery of Foot, Sanctuary, everything. Of course, you can take that off the list. Apparently, a good neighbor, Bobby Nonos, is interesting. And in Cambridge Polymer Lab, there is a useless reward, but a thematic thing for Plancy Mush. Is there any quest that we've got going? Lift the security lockdown. Was that in the vault? Yeah, that was obviously bugged, so we can't do anything with that. Travel to Grey Garden. Talk to the settlers at Warwick Homestead. Um, oh, talk to Sturges. Oh, for God's sake, did I really not finish that quest? Here's what I'll do. I'm going to fly over there fast, and I'm going to finish this bloody quest for Sturges, and that will just be some quick and easy XP in the bag, and we'll never have to talk to Sturges again. Yeah, I think this is it. I think this is it. Home. Yeah, home. Feels good. Is that it? Are we good? Glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Bye, Sturges. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. I should hope My so. door's always open to you. That's One very... One those two. Uh-huh. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. <laughs> oh, he's I making a little he's making a little joke, all that Sturges. Take care now. We do love him. Goodbye, Sturges. Um yeah, I mean that was quite easy to do when um <clears throat> you import a sanctuary preset and it's uh it's all it's all done for you. Preston loved that and Curie liked that. Speaking of the man, there he is. Oh no, he might give us another bloody settlement that needs our help. Hey, Voltec, you know right? 
Since we talked, Hello. I'm feeling swell. This is nice. I Look feel good. I feel good about this. Here in sanctuary. Prepared for the future. I like that a lot. That, that's that's nice. Yeah. I like that. Uh so what do we want to head to next, then? I, I I don't think that actually completed a quest in hindsight, did it? Oh, no, it did. Okay. So, what have we got, then? We've got the Glowing Sea, which, of course, we've had a bit of a taste of by fighting those Gamma Claws. Now, the Gamma Claws, out of... Um, I, I tracked them down just out of pure curiosity. Turns out they were part of a different mod. There was a mod on the workshop that was, like, plasma weapons and uh, adds all sorts of customization and stuff. And then, along with their plasma weapons, they snuck in Gamma Claws, bizarrely. Um, which is... I, I mean, I didn't think they were too bad. I thought they were kind of a cool enemy. But, um, yeah, there was that. Road to Freedom, of course, we should definitely do. That one's quite high priority, because, again, I was told to maybe deal with some of these before we go into the DLC. Don't know what this is. Tune into Mysterious Signal, Fail Institution. It's got that generic Pip-Boy thumbs-up symbol. So I think it's, it might be modded. Uh, and then what else have we got here? How about the wall? Recover the nuclear material. Talk to Bobby. Bobby No-No's, of course. Let's mark that one, then. McCready, as well. Actually, going to get McCready would be quite good. Search for caps in the Walden Pond. Let's issue with the public appearances and the Museum of Witchcraft. All the way down there, slightly cut off. That's all right. We can definitely work with that. Let's go see Bobby No-No's then. It was definitely on my list of stuff to do. Right, this one's this one's McCready, isn't it? Let's go do this one first. I don't know why Curie's not following us. I didn't dismiss her as a companion or anything like that. Unless during the building, I accidentally mashed a button. Let's go get Curie. Uh, oh, sorry. Let's go get McCready. Enjoy your stay. Curie's already here, so we'll probably just send McCready straight to a settlement, I presume. Um, and then we'll go and have a chat with Mr. No-Nose himself. Mrs. No-Nose. I don't know who doesn't have a nose, but I will know no, it's, uh, no soon. Need something? No soon. Hello? That depends. You ready to fork over 250 caps? Yeah, of course. Here are your 250 caps, McCready. Now you're speaking Did I call language. him Mayor McCready? Right, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. That's my bad. Lead on. Oh, obviously, he was Mayor McCready in Fallout 3. Okay, uh, McCready. Uh, oh, uh, for, for now, I would like you to, uh, ah, oh, shit. Need something? I, <laughs> I would like you to, uh, go to the Starlight Inn. The, Star the Starlight Express. Mistake, but hey, it's your funeral. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Uh, follow us going to the last set location. He's just going to sit here. There you no, are. listen. I almost thought you forgot about me. Listen, you seem to be confused. Uh, let's, let's go no then. Time. We'll just take him with us. I'll, I'll drop him off. Do you have off. any new injuries for me to treat today, Monsieur McCready? Feeling fine, thanks. Oh. But, uh, if a couple of stim packs fall my way, I wouldn't object. Wait. Multi-follower dialogue? When would that occur in the base game? <laughs> I hope you have no need of this. <laughs> the dog <laughs> taking out the mannequins. I thought you could only have one uh, companion in Fallout 4, right? Even the dog was cut content that we've obviously added back. I wonder if, oh, I wonder if, if you pick up McCready when you've got Curie active, it will dismiss her after that conversation's happened. But obviously in this, it doesn't happen because we've got that framework mod. Right, I understand. Nothing says welcome like the stench of urine-soaked garbage. And actually, now that I think yeah. about it, obviously I added the, the framework mod so that we get the mechanist as a companion. Where did she go? I haven't seen her in ages. I wonder if she went back to her lair, just like reset after all. Hey, you looking for work? This would be Bobby No-No's, then. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm looking for work. Well, aren't you an eager beaver? If you don't mind a little manual labor, oh. and don't ask too many questions, you're in. Uh, I'll give you 50 caps to start. Uh, Interested? Uh, oh, as long as it is for justice, Bobby No-No's. That's what I like to hear. She likes to hear it. Oh, J Jesus Christ. I'll give you the lowdown. The Big Dig meets Bobby inside. Okay, well, let's go and have a peek then. After you, Bobby. Now, I talked about this uh, a couple of episodes back, actually. And uh, it was kind of, I, I, I think, uh, you know, something that we can... Please let us in. <laughs> something that we can start to bring into play a little bit more with what happened last episode. Planty, I think, is, is probably going to slowly come to the realization... That the wasteland can't be cured by one man in an outfit. Because there are enemies out there, uh, as we saw with the Gamma Claws, of course, far bigger than any amount of justice could ever deal with. I know. It's sad to say, isn't it? Frightening to say. Um, let's also hack Bobby's terminal. He would never steal from her safe. Um, 
But we can at least have a look. He's doing this out of pure curiosity. Oh, what is this then? Recon notes. While I got my hands on the map of Underground Boston, a new plan to one of my men at the Mass State House will pay off. As expected, the raiders there weren't hard to work. Those idiots can e can't even read. They kidnap some luckless scavenger to read through what they find, looking for some big treasure in there. Fools don't know the importance of what they're holding. That's the problem with raiders. They think too small. The map. The map was drawn under orders of some city planner and state house, a Sebastian Mullins, right before the bomb day. Looks like the city was planning on expanding the subway system, but a big kaboom ended that. At least somebody would be able to make use of it. There's a huge subway tunnel not far from my own basement here in Good Neighbor. Okay. Hancock have a word with me today. Said he was worried about me hiring up. Suspects I'm up to something. Told him I'm always up to something. Told him to get out uh, until he was news for, uh, until he has news for me. I'm so sick of Hancock and his dumb smug mug. The second anyone gets any power around these parts, he comes and squashes it. Thinks everybody has the privilege of living in this dump, owes him everything. Right. So Bobby is working on some sort of underground dig that maybe she needs our help for. After finding a map. Does help to have a map. Oh. Whoops. Uh, I just don't, uh, she's not paying attention ready anyway. To work. She's busy. Uh, yes, I am ready to work, Bobby No No, uh, Mrs. No No's. It's a simple job, really. You are gonna be doing some digging. Uh, di digging? A man of my talents? <laughs> you want a better job? You gotta work your way up to it, buddy. Show me that can-do attitude. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will ya? Could you imagine if it's a quest that is kind of just 45 minutes of digging? I'd actually have mad respect for Bethesda for doing that. Well, we'll take another shovel, dual wield. And here we are. This is kind of, well, let me guess, we're gonna, we're gonna dig a hole, we're gonna get to like a deathclaw nest or something, we're gonna uncover some sort of horrifying thing. I think we can finally get through. Want to see what's on the other side? Under here. Oh, yeah. you think Bobby will pay and it's all gonna go horribly wrong. Know, man. It's to feel like what if they hit? Oh, is this is this what they found? Oh, my alerts! Eliminate the my alert. Well, that's a lot better than. Oh, what they're covered in like my alert kill core. They're covered in like disgusting barnacles. Look at that. Oh, okay. Well, luckily this is something for his talents. Oh Jesus. Because Ponzi Bush has had a lot of my alert kill in the last few days. God, that's loud, isn't it? <laughs> Very obnoxious. <laughs> Be careful, Planty. You're almost out of ammo for the shotgun of justice. Okay, and uh, gun in the legs, please. Jesus, Planty, come on. Okay. Let's have a look around. I feel like we should poke around first. Sorry, Bobby. She'll never see it coming. She'll never smell it coming. Okay, what is this thing? Okay, God knows. We can't do anything with it, sadly. And uh, that's everything. Okay, maybe this wasn't as <laughs> as big a find as what we could, what, what I thought it would be then. Okay, uh, well, let's actually mark the quest. Talk to Bobby. You put me through that loading screen for that. Oh, what she's here. What is going on in my tunnel? Uh, the room was filled with Mirelux. At least you put up a better fight than those good-for-nothings. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. Oh! You get to be my new gun. Uh... I think we uh, just need one more guy. Okay. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Uh... uh okay, who, who shall I speak to? He's just the guy we need to speed things along. Name, madam. Likes gadgets, uh -huh. money, and not much else. Ooh, Kendrick's bird. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I oh, finish up my business. It's the robot. We're gonna go recruit the noodle robot, aren't we? I can't remember his name. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, right. Carry on, then. By all means. A mystery afoot. We're good with mysteries. I feel like we've done some really... I feel like we've really nailed our previous mysteries. You know, like the Lorenzo Cabot one. Did a really good job with that. Ended up murdering someone's dad. This is a great work, really. Nailed it, Planty. So yeah, my point was going to be, I think... Maybe Planty's beginning to realize that, again, the Silver Shroud is good for dealing with injustices on a, on a personal level. You know, raiders stealing someone's stuff. Kidnapping people. Uh, you know, drug stealing doubt in the back alleys of Good Neighbor. That's the type of thing the Silver Shroud can deal with. But he's seen the real horrors of the wasteland now. 
He's seen the the radioactive waste. He's seen the. Years, but I'll tell you, nothing's changed. He's seen the enormous. Read that interview you gave, thing you said at the end about taking one day at a time. Oh, that's nice. I can relate. That enormous, terrifying death claw. It's gonna need a man of science, not a man of necessarily solely justice. But the problem with that, of course, is we'll have to. What's she doing? We'll have to find ourselves a new silver shroud, of course, if Planty is going to drop his, uh, drop his persona. Show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. Oh. People like me aren't allowed around here. Oh. Now let's get down to business. Oh, ghouls aren't allowed in Diamond City? Oh. Over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Ah, uh, I can't. Most people don't oh. know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. Oh. The guy has it coming, if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. The mayor is a ghoul racist. Now that you mention it, yeah, that's a fair point. I haven't seen any ghouls in Diamond City. Ah, uh, all of this is for a good cause. Don't get me wrong. Oh. The caps are my primary motivation. If I get to take them from a bigot, that's just I see. Well, so what do you say we make this body a little bigger? I suppose I to track down it is justice, guy. isn't it? His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. She couldn't the have any ulterior motives. To solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him <laughs> out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face covered or not. Uh, I can't bust a guy out of jail. Sure you can. This isn't some impenetrable fortress. It's a place to lock up pickpockets and rowdy drunks. Pick a lock, find a key, bribe Well, he lock. didn't quite mean it in the that way, but stuff. she's pressuring Just him into him it. Out of there. Oh, well, it is for justice. Okay. Got it. You sometimes you got to break a little law to do a lot, lot more justice, okay? Stealing from a bigoted, racist old mayor. Hey, swatter, 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 swatter. Swing, swatter. That seems like a fairly solid idea. McCready, if I dismiss you now, where are you going to go? Let's, let's let's give this a go, because I can't have these two people chatting. When we were heading down to see Bobby the first time, they were both just rambling on. What do you want? Uh, dismiss. I think you're making a huge mistake, but hey, it's your funeral. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. Oh, I was just going back to the last set location. Okay, fair enough. I think... To do that, we'd have to dismiss our other followers, then take him on as kind of our primary followers, but follows the base game system. Ah, uh, security office. And now the plant he's got all of his uh, degrees in nuclear physics. <laughs> I've just spent all of his perks on it, and maybe with that final science perk too. Maybe that's what I'll need to cast aside the the silver shroud and take on his own persona, the Doc Doctor Mush. Ooh, I like that. Ah. Uh, hey, I heard what you did for old Travis. Oh. It was real nice of you. You, uh, we did break, the, we broke the law, sir. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Look, we can clearly have a chat I with him. what has happened elsewhere. Is what has Do you think we can have a chat with him from behind? Less Maybe sneak back there somehow and slip him a lockpick or something? Oh, yeah, here you go. Ah, uh, hello. Are you Mel? Mel here. Can I help you? Ah, uh, keep the noise down, Mel. I'm gonna get you out of here. If so... Maybe you shouldn't be announcing it so every guard in Diamond City can hear. Um, totally unrelated, but I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. Okay. Automated security terminal. Auto hack. You're speaking to the right person, Mel. Um, read first important notice. Do not activate the protector on unit again. The thing has been on the fritz for months now. In case you are new or ridiculously forgetful, the unit started opening fire on civilians out of nowhere on a morning routine. No one can seem to fix its targeting procedures. Now we're taking it out of rotation indefinitely. No clue why we have ripped it apart for scrap, quite frankly. Thank you for your compliance. Oh, dear. Change personality mode? Can we turn it to, like, a medical responder and then activate it so that we're not going to kill people? Planty Mush doesn't kill innocents, okay? Ah, uh, and then... Activate unit. Oh, okay. I'll just go around Power curing people. Protectrons on duty. I would prefer if there was a whole lot less of that. Uh. Right, Curie just absolutely executed it. 
Uh, Mel? Mel here. Can I help you? Uh, I, I, I'm getting you out of here? If so, maybe you shouldn't be announcing it so every guard in Diamond City can hear. Um, totally. Okay. Guard asked me to take a look. What? Uh. Sorry? <laughs> Have I maybe just broken this quest inadvertently? Because Curie is a stone cold killer. Oh, shit. Uh, maybe we could bribe the guards? Let's go and have a chat with the man in the office, see if we could bribe him instead. Uh, excuse me. You got something to say? Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, why, why is Mel in here? Him? He was caught trying to reprogram the robot bartender at the tap house to give him free drinks. Just between you and me, I would totally do that if I knew how. Does he have a twin outside? They look very similar. Uh, I was hoping to get Mel out of the lockup. No way. He's going to serve his time just like everyone else. What about for... Oh. You uh, got something to say? Yeah, uh, what about for uh, 300 caps? Keep your voice down, will you? Uh, I shouldn't be doing this. But fine. I need him that bad. All right. You're free to go, buddy. Yay. A little bribery. We know that we have to come back and uh, kill this man now because he's, he's a corrupt guard and Planty Bush is all about justice, but... <laughs> just as by any means necessary. The key was in that drawer. We probably could have just stolen that, but Planty Mush does not steal. Maybe he'll go and spend Let's that on medicine for his child. You have everything about that? He'll go and spend that on medicine for his sick child. And then we've effectively done justice by proxy. <laughs> the best kind of justice. I want that on a shirt. Okay. I'm excited to see what this is going to lead to because Planty Mush is a man of science and this seems like a, you know, uh, some sort of science slash tech forward tech forward mission. It's been a long time since we've done any tech related shenanigans. Thanks for getting me out, I guess. Uh, so, that's okay. Bobby's new toy. Uh, no, but I, uh, oh, I'm helping Bobby. I bet it was just out of the kindness of her huge heart, right? That woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait like a day? What's the job? Uh, how'd you like to break in a Diamond City strong room? Well, damn. That's a big score. Could be enough caps there to keep me going for a long time. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in the end. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. Okay. Meet the gang in the dig. So, sorry, are we digging all the way from Good Neighbor to Diamond City's mayor's office's basement? I guess if it was a subway tunnel, that's not unbelievable at all, as long as we're running down it and not, like, digging our way there. If we're digging our way there, I'll be honest, you might as well just throw Planty back in, <laughs> back in cryosleep at that point. Okay, let's go and have a look. How are we doing for inventory space before we walk away from this shop? Um, fine. Totally fine. We're good. Okay, I'm ready for, ready for loot. More importantly, I'm ready for this level. I don't know if this will give us enough because it seems like quite an early game level. If the game has got that kind of, again, linear progression where you're expected to go to certain areas at certain levels, this might just be a massive disappointment. It seems like kind of a, maybe a quest I should have done a little while ago. So I've got the sanctuary stuff. Although saying that, the My Alert Queen seemed pretty, pretty on the level yesterday. Either way, let's see what happens, shall we? Uh, but Bobby, uh, Mrs. No Nos. Oh, hello. What can I say? Oh, wonder glue. Bloody gift. So, all right. What's the deal? All with the here. Hello. No, oh. You want to introduce your little friend? What is yep. that? Meet Sonia. This little bot is going to help us move through the earth like a mole rat on jet. What the hell is it? A big old, a big old plasma ball in the middle of it? Ah, uh, well, uh, what, what does it do? <laughs> I can't wait to show you. Oh. She's one of a kind. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can loosen any sediment around. Mel says we'll be able to get to the strong room ten times faster than just. Oh my god, are they actually going to dig? Hell of a lot safer than loading this place up with dynamite. All right, guys, get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourself. Wouldn't it also, Sonia? Do your thing. Like crumble your teeth in your head? No. 
Jesus. Okay. Are they talking about Planty Mush? Oh. Metal loves Planty Mush. Okay. And here we are. Okay, we've dug through to... Oh, Biolux. Well, there goes all the ammo. Shit. That wasn't so bad. Okay. I was trying to run away from that. For fairly obvious reasons, I think. And they were stood behind Planty. Holding him in place. Which seems like it could be a... Disaster, depending on what we're fighting. Okay. Shit. This is going to be... Interesting, isn't it? Planty, what are you doing? Oh, my boy. He's not the greatest of shots. He's fighting him with a bloody switchblade. Okay. Shit, shit, shit. Oh! Maybe I haven't got much to worry about, huh? Other than the radiation. With this whole squad in action, we, I think we might do all right. Jesus, that's loud. Ah, uh, thank you. Uh, thank you, Curie. Everyone, this is my friend, Curie. She's a robot that I downloaded into the body of an unconscious dead android. <laughs> it's a long story. Okay, where are we going then? Through here? Activate. Where is Sonia? Zap. Are we genuinely digging all the way to, well, for the most part, this seems like a dead through to Diamond City? This is very silly. Oh, Jesus, watch out for the rads. Holy crap. Where is that coming from? Legendary Milert Deep King. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Critical. Planty is whipping so many high accuracy shots here. Jesus. Okay, be careful, be careful, because the rats here are a little bit nuts. Where are we heading to then, squad? Where, where do we go from here? Thank you, Curie. Where do we go? Okay, is it, are we going to go a different path? There's a different route I missed? Ah, probably, probably right here. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm glad it's not so totally linear. Take a little ride away, I think. Oh, good lord, that builds up fast. We might even need to make more right away. Okay. This seems fine. This seems promising. Okay, lots more my lights coming up. Get ready. Oh, shit. You got any right away in there? Asking for a friend. Oh! What happened? What happened? <gasps> my bloody graphics card's doing an auto update. Are you joking? Maybe I want to play games at midnight. What the fuck kind of a time is that to update? Okay, let's just ignore it and hope it goes away. <laughs> lord. Oh, lord. Maybe we should have... Maybe we should have got a better weapon before we head off. Oh, no. Somebody said... Somebody said that apparently... Oh, shit. Two-shot, the legendary effect, is better than um, the one where they take double damage. Than uh, double damage from, like, the first time they take damage, which is what I've got on the right front now. What is it called? It's instigating, I think. <laughs> Jesus Christ, these Milux are nuts. That's all you got? Thank God I gave Curie that ridiculous rifle. So I looked into it. And the, and the big reason is, apparently, it's where the, the, the armor itself is calculated. Because obviously, you'd assume, okay, well, if you're doing double damage, two shot, it fires two shots at one. Surely, that's still just double damage. Apparently, that's not the case, because of the way the... Uh, armor calculation on the weapon works when you fire on the, on the shots when you fire gotcha. Sonia. it does way more damage so we might want to swap over to that at some stage Looks like ah here we go right ah, okay what's in here what? oh on the right trap very oh. good just keep heading southwest we need to find a place to blast out of this is a nonsense quest. Is there gonna be ghouls? Do we wanna swap? I don't think we have any other guns. Um Combat shotgun automatic. We got ten shells. Apparently we found some more. Okay. There are ghouls absolutely everywhere. I thought Oh for God's sake. 
I thought this might be the case. Okay. Good lord. Look at the state of this. Oh, shit. Okay, radium rifle doesn't work as well on the ghouls because they, they can just suck up the radiation damage, right? <laughs> nice. There you go. That's what we like to see. That one's running around without a head. That's fucking disgusting. Honestly, it still works fine. I think we're good. I don't think we need to worry about it too much. Little Reaver. Curry, can I take that gun off of you? Because I feel like you're making this very, very, um... Trivial? <laughs> that gun is ridiculous. And I think we'll be, uh... I think we'll be confiscating that in a second. Really should have bought a different gun for this for this quest. Something with a bit more of a something with a bit more variation to it. So we should know we're totally out of bloody shotgun ammo for the shotgun of justice. I knew we'd be Mel, digging, out of the way, please. But I didn't think that... Right. Okay. So there is only one way to go at this point. Oh, there, there is a terminal we can hack. Hold on. Okay. Luckily, they have Planty Mush himself. Hacker voice. I'm in. Boom. Ah. Uh, Oh, well, this wasn't quite what I was expecting, but fair enough. Okay. Let's try this direction then, I suppose. It's down there. Oh, that looks like the way we're supposed to go. Look. That wall's a slightly different color to the rest. Like Scooby-Doo. When the background's about to move. Lots of junk. <laughs> to be fair, we do need a lot more junk given the amount of junk I built in, um, in the settlement earlier. Lots of wasted resources. Not wasted, of course. It's base building. We all love base building in Fallout. Except for me. Right, we good? Hold well on, squad. Yeah, I... We're going to need to stock up on the uh, stock up on the bases again. Let's see if we can break that wall open. She said we're going to go through the southwest, so maybe this is actually it. But I will check the other way as well, because that seems like... um. Seems a bit too obvious otherwise. Yeah. I wouldn't touch that pie. I don't trust anything that looks that perfectly preserved after 200 years. Oh, see, that's the thing I complained about last time we saw one of those bloody things. Okay, that's quite good. Uh, you're definitely dead, right? How come it's been so long since we worked? So we can. Look, we can interact with this one too. Oh, cool. Okay. That's got to be the way to go, right? I refuse to believe it isn't. Let's go double back and go through that, um go through the potentially dead end then. Can we see the local map just to get a feeling for it? Hang on. Uh, oh my god. How, how far is this fucking quest objected? Shit. Okay. Well, let's not go that way yet. Let's double back. I get the feeling that is the way. It seems a bit closer to the quest marker. Let's try this way again. What was it right here? Here we go. Uh, What have we got? Oh god, maybe this is the way. Oh Christ. Uh... Yeah, you know, I got the impression that this is the way. Bloody hell, this was a... <laughs> it's an Avenger and a half, wasn't it? Shit. Okay, um, I could really do with the rest of the squad here. To be uh, totally honest. Oh, Curie's here. She's got all the firepower. She's good. Okay. Let's sneak, sneak forward. It's probably mostly just hatchlings, so I'm not... Really super concerned. Ah, excuse me. What else have we got? Shit, I bet this is the right way, isn't it? Oh god, watch out for the rats. Let's heal up, actually. Uh, hello? We're sounding like someone in the pipe, right? I think I'm going mad. Right, let's go and have a look down the other way then. Sorry, I really should just pick away and stick with it. I know, but... I don't want to go the right way. It's an RPG. That's not how things go, right? Okay, this leads to... More rules. Okay. That's no problem. Thank you. Sorry, I'm not scoping it. Just so I've got, like, full... Field of view. That's all. Just in case they drop from the ceiling. Okay, there's another way to blow through here, though. Shit. So maybe it is... One way or the other. Take your pick. Right, fair enough. I just don't want to miss... Oh, Jesus. Careful there. I just don't want to miss anything. 
Oh, well, that's a lot of ghouls. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on then. This is fine. We're all good. We're all good. Plants is a stone cold killer. Jesus. Fucking hell. Well, we've got a pistol. Worst case scenario. Remember when I was scrounging for fusion cells back in the day? That was a good time, wasn't it? Now look at me. More fusion cells than I could possibly use. Jesus. Well, I'll not speak too soon. Okay, so clearly there's another way through here. I wonder if this connects to, like, another point of that tunnel where they've connected to and they, they link up. I'll have to check the, um... Probably check the... Oh! I'll probably check the wiki at some point and have a look. Okay, Bobby. Okay. Oh, yeah, look, this clearly links up. This clearly links up. Okay. Right, we'll stick with this path then for now. <laughs> Ooh, plasma pistol. Thank you. That could be useful. This place this place seems like the nicer way. No more Myelux. Hate flying Myelux. They suck. Could do with a better ballistics weapon for that. Ooh. Oh! Is it literally like one way feral ghouls the other way? Oh, God, there's another legendary one. Fucking hell. I think that traffic cone just saved his life. Can we get that slowed down, please? I swear that plasma shot just fired right off of, the, uh, off of that cone. Okay, how are we looking? Bear in mind, not every legendary has... ...has the stuff. Has the... Uh, every legendary enemy has... What the fuck are you doing? It's Michael Jackson. Not every legendary enemy has a legendary item, so that's why I'm not... Checking every bloody corpse here. Okay, are we safe? What about all these Mr. Handies? Oh. Poor little fellas. Pre war, I assume. Like this place was run by Mr. Handy. Thank you, Mel. Nothing gets past you, does it? I think the one robot is enough, Mel. Alright. Wouldn't have taken long. No problem. Come on, Sonia. Glad that we brought a whole army down here. <laughs> what is that? Six of us? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Right, 41. Oh, we're in, within striking distance now. The pun intended. Get it? Because we're going to, going to Diamond City. Striking striking distance? No. So this is what would have happened if we'd have come out the other way then. Four more bloody mile marks. Okay, fair enough. I won't fanny around too much over here. Clearly, they don't need to go that way. Glad they gave us a choice about what we want to fight. Now, that's very polite of them. Right, you can fucking die. I know I'm shooting in the shell. I feel like it was the best chance we had. Uh, oh, God, that's a bit rough. Oh, come on. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Okay, okay. No more going in this direction, please. This is the wrong way to go, but I can't stop myself. Okay, let's take a couple of stim packs. I need to stop stim packing and opening the menu because it cancels the animation. You don't get the benefit from it. Oh, actually, I'm glad we came this way, because look. Okay, that was worth it. We've got another fusion core. Boom. So that's almost certainly where we would have climbed into from the other mile. Like, so I, I think we've probably gone the whole way now. Right. Look at this bloody radiation. Jesus. Put it on the Planty's to-do list. Craft some rat away. Ooh. Microscope's nice to find. Not going to bother with the terminal, I don't think. So where is this, then? Okay. We're getting really close. Yeah, no shit. Oh. We're gonna mess around with this terminal, actually. I've changed my mind. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> the oblivion music kicking into that ghoul slowly limping towards us is very good. Well done, Mel. Great work with that switchblade there, fella. Which reminds me of a straight-up combat knife. Excuse me, Mel. Get out of the way. Oh, shit. That was a glowing one. Okay. Heal up. Didn't mean to do it twice, but that's all right. Okay, this one seems unfriendly. Um, Headshots. Planty, you got a hit, though, fella. It's all right. Mel's got his knife. Very appropriate Oblivion soundtrack going on right here. Oh, 
Oh, that was good. That was good. <laughs> bloated glowing one. <laughs> Stood right there and he's just trying to delicately stab it. Very good. What a fucking game, huh? What a game. <laughs> Let me in. Got places to go. I didn't expect it. Honestly, we've done some really long quests the last couple of episodes. We need to do some quick fire rounds tomorrow, I think, because this has been. God, it was like the. the what, was his, what was that kid's name? Little Billy? Little Billy in the fridge? It was the entirety of yesterday, and then today, it's just been non stop. Non stop ghoul action. And you can put that on the. Put that as the episode title, as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I am concerned, because I'm going to have to name the episode, so I'll probably, I probably will name it that. That seems like a fantastic name. I think I'll put Bobby No-No's on it, and then everyone will say, Ooh, go, uh, watch out calling the episode that, haha. -ha. Oh, you got to work on that catchphrase. And that's coming from Planty Mush. Okay. I, th I think we're almost there, everyone. My Pip-Boy says only another 15 meters. More ghouls, or are we finally done? I think we're finally free of this. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, no, uh, almost. Uh, almost got it. Okay, there we go. And finally. 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 They're body blocking the robot. There you go. There you go. Come on. No? Oh. Well, let's, well, let's do it. So everyone got to get to a... I was going to say, do people have to get to a position? We're waiting for them to find their mark so that the quest can continue, I understand. Right, uh, go here. I must apologize. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay, and now... Nothing. Um, I'm just going to wait. Okay, and nothing. <laughs> oh, God, why is it... Don't do this. We got so close to the end. I can't activate the final wall. It's just not doing it. Do we have to speak to Bobby? Have we missed out Mr. Trigger somewhere? Hold on. Let's go back. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Damn it, Todd. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's it. Go. Go on. There's too many too many companions down here. We've, we've soft lot them. Nobody can find their bloody mark. Oh, Jesus. Now I can't even get through anymore. This is... I'm sorry. This is an exercise in frustration. Please... Get to, uh, please fuck off. <laughs> it's like real life. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Out the way, out the way, out the way. That's it, that's it. There you go, there you go, there you go. Okay. Fragile wall, activate. Won't do anything. Fuck. Okay, let me see if I can do some fixes here. Have my doubts. Ah, oh, there the you go. Should be right through there. If you had anything else you wanted to check out in this tunnel, there you go. Suggest you do that first. Uh, no, I am, uh, we're ready. You got it. Let's do this. Ready, Sonia? Just took a little shimmy in, quick reload, get the NPCs into position, and we are all ready to go. Okay. This is it then, huh? Maybe the game in the strong room basement. Cool. We've actually made it through. Don't trust this rebar, Jesus. Okay. Now what do we do? We gotta wait for them to dig through again, huh? Uh, hello, Bobby. Great. Now my socks are wet. Well, stop standing in well, the fucking guys, water, then. Right under the Diamond City strong room. You sure this is the right place? I've been mapping it out, and I think Diamond City should be a little further north of here. I don't have a doubt in my mind. North? We went southwest, you big trust for the boss? Uh, uh I, I trust you, Bobby. That's why you are my favorite. There is, is she lying? Of for the taken here. We just have to work together to get to Did it. I call it from we still need a way to get the get-go? Are we not hitting Diamond now, City? You think your robot will work here? Look at this place. The foundation is already crumbling. One blast from Sonya and I bet the floor above will come right down. Well then make it so. You won't want to be in the room for this collapsing foundation and all. Good thinking. What's that noise? All right then. Everybody oh, is it coming for the robot? <laughs> for a blast at maximum power. Uh, okay. Get out of the basement. Oh, God. I mean, I don't think anything could kill the unkillable Woofty at this point. That might just, um, make her a Here little less go. convenient, though. That didn't sound good. Hope Sonya's okay. 
okay. Now let's get up into that strong room, shall we? Uh huh. Where she actually bought us? Come on then, let's oh, no, find no, out. No, no, Sonia. Pull yourself together. Mr. Oh. We don't need that thing anymore anyway. Just strip off her parts. But there you go. Make another robot <laughs> with a right. Keep your head in the game. Where the hell is this then, huh? Let's see the big reveal. I said this at the start of the quest. Said it at the start of the quest. There's no way in hell you're digging all the way to Diamond City. Walking to Diamond City is a bloody pain in the ass. And they wanted to go from the underground? That's not going to happen. Okay. Um, strong room. It does say strong room. Is it like Hancock's secret strong room or something like that? Oh. Fahrenheit. Shit. You seriously didn't think Hancock would catch wind of your scheme? He took you in, Bobby. And you're stealing. Oh my god, have I just Don't called it? Have I just called it? I've just called it, haven't I? Uh Hancock shouldn't care about us stealing from Diamond City. Yeah, about that. I see the rest of you are in the dark about this. Nice no nos. You all just broke into Hancock's Oh my store. god, I called it. You know. Hancock. The mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys. <laughs> I know this isn't what you expected. <laughs> but there's still a ton of caps on Damn the it, Bobby. Here. Help me take her out. And all of it is ours. This is Hancock we're ripping off here. The guy Nah, we're not we're not going against Hancock. Just go back into your tunnel and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? Yeah. Uh, I accept. Is it, uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, come on, Bobby. At least if we leave now, uh, we leave with our lives. I haven't come this far to run away with my tail between my legs. You are either with me or against me. Only a Sith deals in absolutes. You can't do this to me. This isn't how this is supposed to go. Know what? Fine. More for me. Oh, Bobby. What was she thinking, huh? Oh, <laughs> next snap. <laughs> well, yeah, no, listen. That was unjust. What Bobby did was unjust. She told us we were doing it for justice. Say, I'm not really cool with how this went down. Uh, I'm sorry it had to be this way. Me too. Me too. Well, I'm out of here. Sorry for almost stealing from your boss, Miss Fahrenheit. Oh, bye. Bye, Mal. I guess we're going to have a chat you with the Fahrenheit. Uh, uh, careful there. Uh, are you, are you also a, a super powered individual like myself? She seems to have the ability to float. Yeah, okay. Carry on. Uh, hello. You made the right move. Uh, sorry to cause you the, the the trouble. The boss will understand. You didn't know what you were doing. Here, take this. A token for doing the right thing. Ooh. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, uh, thank you. Oh, thank you. That's, that's very generous. Hancock will be happy to hear about your loyalty. Does Hancock give those out to many people? In person, it's best to stay on Hancock's good side. Trust me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jesus. Was that what she was supposed to do? That was way more impressive. How come they need suits, but she doesn't? What's her secret, then, that she's, like, radiation immune? Oh, is this something else from the mod pack? Where, like, she's actually supposed to be, like, a hideous ghoul, but actually one of the face mods has turned her into a beautiful lady. You know, depending on your definition of beautiful lady. Oh, God, that's so far... <laughs> 
I, I don't know what I expected her to give us. Like, like some sort of IOU you could redeem at the uh, at Hancock's office to have him forget one of your indiscretions or something like that, you know. I wasn't expecting a Hello Kitty branded minigun. I know we've seen them before, but Jesus. It was it's the perfect reward for that quest. Being double-crossed by Bobby and her having to die and then us sticking staunchly to justice even though, you know, maybe Hancock's not the nicest fellow. We've certainly helped him out. Our goals have aligned more often than Bobby with no knows his theft. And then fucking hell, for it to go like that. Jesus, that is, uh... That's really something. This is Hancock's private storeroom. What, what's he storing? Just like junk? I say that as if Plans Motion doesn't have his own personal junk collection, but this is... Oh. Key. Hancock's storeroom key. Shame about that, isn't it? So that's what we would have gotten if, uh, if we'd have, although it sounds like we've just robbed in anyway. Huh. I mean, this is, this is quite clearly an exploit, so I'm going to stop doing it. What exactly did we steal? A bunch of junk? A fusion core? Well, I think that was the fusion core we got earlier. A mini nuke. Some cigarettes. Some buff out. Oh. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I was just looking for the, looking for the key, but that, that's all right, I suppose. These things happen, don't they? These things happen. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna reload just to uh, undo that. I feel bad about it, but that's that's acceptable losses. <laughs> that's acceptable losses. All right, thank you. Oh my god, that almost knocked me out. That really, that really did. That was the that was the best quest reward we could have got for that tale of treachery and deceit and double crossing and playing with organized crime like that. That was really just superb. Oh my god. Yeah, obviously we were nowhere near Diamond City, but hang on, apparently we went further than that? Fucking hell, they've got some sort of magic subway under there, haven't they? Good God. Sort of magic space and time defying underground. Oh, man. We're going to wrap it up there, I think. I've got to get up early to record a little record a little rim rim. And that, honestly, that's been a great day for Planty Mush. More importantly, this, is, this has been something that's been in the cards since... Basically like the first episode, right? Since since we were first determined to take Planty Mush in a particular direction. We've got to get... Is that a bloody song again? It is... Uh... Box Cello Suite. Three? One? One or the other. Either way, I really feel like an omelette. Um... So, obviously, <laughs> obviously what we've got to do now is the greatest victory of it all. There's nothing Hancock could have given us that would come anywhere near science rank four. And that's it, my friends. We can build any weapon, Got a dangerous any gun. About you. Hope you ain't here for me. Yeah, he looks fearsome. I mean, to be, I think it's the optics. It really does look a little bit fearsome. Any weapon, any gun, any modification, anything at all we can now build. Honestly, that looks... I, I mean, it doesn't look awesome. What I'm saying is like a minigun that also lights people on fire seems really good. I, I guess it doesn't stack per shot. That would be actually nuts, but it seems very, very good. I hope you have no need of this thing pack, but just in case. Thank you, Curry. Appreciate that. Gonna sight? Wow. No muzzle. Put a shredder on it. That's ridiculous. An incendiary is obviously great. Oh, we've got enough legendary stuff too. Oh, we've got seven legendary chips. Oh, well, that's good. Shit, well, that's nice. We can we can do something pretty nice with that, I think. And then, uh, yeah, I'm not sure where we want to go with this. We need to go back and see um, Kent. Some people have pointed that out, so I'll add that to my to-do list. If you have any suggestions for what gun to go with now, what to customize, what to modify, what, what mods are good, what legendary you know perks are the best ones to go for, by all means, let me know. Because it's time. Like, this is, this, this is it now. This is premium planty moments. Maybe this is where we embrace science and we drop the silver shroud. It's time for Planty to realize that it's his brain all along. Not this, not this character that he's adopted. It was, it was him. It was always him. So let's put this away. And let's, actually, let's store everything. Let's start from fresh. And let's see what we can do with it. Putting Legendary on this might be insane. Uh, let's see what we can do with it. And... Let's go butt wild. I prefer ballistic, personally. That's all I will say. So throw me your suggestions there. We'll build the bobblehead stand too. We gotta to put some bobbleheads on there, which we will at some point. Uh without that, I'll see you tomorrow. And then we will do a little crafting to kick things off. <laughs>